All right, so I'm starting to play with background textures and colors. And seeing, you know, what kind of effects and complements they might have. And to get a better sense of that, let me, yeah, I like the soft light. Let me expand the canvas size because I, I always like to leave kind of a, a soft edge. I'm going to expand it to 18 by 24. I'm going to fill that background with white. And so I can play with the background now. And seeing like with the, the focal points and everything, this kind of stands out a little bit. So going back to my tricks from earlier of compositing in, you see the background behind her. That's something to cut, I might aspire to. It's kind of soft edge. I don't think I want to do just the plain white background. But something like this, this edge, so soft in the corner, copy that, bring it over, bring it really on the top of everything, paste it in, soften it out, bring it into a corner, play with the levels, especially lightening the midtones. I'm playing with the color balance a little bit because it's got a kind of a pinkishness to it. I want to get rid of. All right, and now with a 100% eraser, really large and soft edge. Ghost that out. Right. And so you see what that does is that kind of shifts the, um, the eye movement a little bit. I'm going to take that Hans, Hans Hoffman background, merge all these together so I can just but I don't want this one. Let's see. So sometimes when you have soft light, thin light, uh, I see. So what I want to do here is erase from them gently in the corners, get rid of those hard edges. Because one is soft light and one is thin light. In fact, I think I can just do this at normal. No. Duplicate it. Down and merge them together. Not too much. So let's erase away from these edges. Just a little bit, just take the edge off. Huh, where is that line coming from? It's becoming from my sketch. Sure enough. I'm going to some of the edges of my sketch as well. And 
can always be a challenge knowing which layers are contributing. And then, of course, layer six. And then lastly, there. Okay, so now I've got this new layer. Soften in its side. Just enough to feel intentional. And now I'm going to group. all of these together, all of the portrait things together. Right. No, it's not needed. So I can just play with the background and lock the group. All right. So if I have both of these open in the background, I'm going to um, bring this reference in. Copy it, paste, paste it in. And expand it out. You see that? All right. I'm going to select contiguous turned off all the white space. and then select the inverse. So the shape around everything else. And then add in um, Okay, now I'm going to just take that selection and duplicate that selection from my Hans Hoffman. Put it on normal. So that gives me another kind of broken edges. Let's do that same thing again. Long layer there. Come on. There we go. Select inverse. Actually, I might be able to add here. There we go. Select the inverse. Take that from my other Hans Hoffman. See how that works. So now, let's see. If I do the same thing again, but also try to exclude some of these edge colors. poke more holes in it, basically. Then I'm going to select the inverse and just select those watercolor textures. If we turn off everything else, so it gives me something like this, which then I can warp Uh, work this one up here. Call. Let's see. I'm going to play with watercolor kind of goodness here. Let's 
see what I can get rid of. Maybe all these grays, blacks, things that are so heavy on the outside. All right, and then just erase a little bit of that bulk. <laughs> and then let's duplicate that, and let's blur it a lot. So the filters will remember the last amount you used if you do the shortcut. So you often have to go in individually. Now my, my picture is getting quite large. You can see it's like two and a half gigs. So I, I'm going to need to save it and probably consolidate some layers before I go too much further. Okay. Let's save it there. And let's start closing some of these references we don't need. So I don't need this anymore. Don't need this anymore. Don't need this. Don't need this. That's still some good inspiration. Don't need this. All right, so I want kind of the softness of that with some more variation that I feel I can control a little bit better. Getting rid of hard edges isn't always going to take care of it. But I like how this kind of suggests a rectangle. Uh, let's see, maybe dodging Shadows. Midtones. Yeah, that can help a lot. So, dodging pretty aggressively now, kind of brightening up. especially where it's darker than I want it to be. Here I can make kind of my new background work with the watercolor edges I've already found. 